Hello, I am Seamus Tunahu of EVE University, and this is episode 33 of How to Survive EVE Online. In this episode, we are going to get started on the exploration chain. For reference, it has been about, I guess it's been 10 hours since my last recording. So, engineering level 4 is about to be finished. And come to think of it, I think I want to put in electronics level 4. Always remember to click apply when updating your skill queue. Go to Neocom, Help, Support, Show Career Agents. Look for Exploration. Uh, in this case, it's Olari Lacentin, and let's start conversation. And here, the agent wants us to find a cosmic anomaly and bring back a proof of discovery. So, let's click accept. And let's close this. I'm going to right click the Atron and make that active. We don't actually need any equip any special equipment on board, no modules or anything. I'm going to slap on a an afterburner just because I feel like it. Uh there's my afterburner. And on dock. Now, exploration is all about finding various hidden sites. Normally, the points of interest are either these celestial objects, which are the sun, planets, moons, stations, asteroid belts, stargates, and such, uh, which you can warp to from your overview, or your mission bookmarks. Here, you're going to be looking for exploration sites. And... Fine, I'll open the scanner to make this thing go away. Now these hidden exploration sites, uh, you have to use a scanner of some sort to find them. We're going to start off with uh, scanning for anomalies. So go to the map, go to the solar system map. We're going to try and find a cosmic anomaly. Cosmic anomalies can be found with a ship's onboard scanner. Every ship has an onboard scanner. All right, you don't need any extra special equipment in order to do this. I'm a little unsure about capsules, but any real ship should have an onboard scanner. So, you look at your capacitor donut, you click the scanner button just to the left of it, and you go to the system scanner tab, and you click the analyze button. And your onboard scanner will take 10 seconds to run a scan and will it will look for all cosmic anomalies within 64 astronomical units of your ship which should cover the entire solar system and we have here some anomaly training sites so I'm going to right click one of these sites and warp to within zero meters Warp drive active. I don't need the map anymore I'm gonna close this Actually, come to think of it, I really don't need the solar system map if I'm just looking for cosmic anomalies. But, you can see the positions of cosmic anomalies on the solar system map. Once you've you run the onboard scanner. Alright, we've arrived at the cosmic anomaly training site. So left click the training container and approach and let's turn on the afterburner to close the distance a little quicker Open the cargo hold mm, cover the distance all right turn off the afterburner open the training container grab the proof, proof of discovery drag it into your cargo hold if there isn't a proof of discovery in the training container when you open it just hang around for a few seconds and another one will spawn, just like that. Uh, that's just in case several players are crowding the same cosmic anomaly. Warp drive active. Uh, let's return to the station and dock up.
It's also worth noting that when I originally recorded this, I accidentally hit the Talking mute switch at requested. some point. Talking request. So I'm now reduced to trying to voice over it after the fact, and I'm struggling to remember what in the world I was thinking. So anyway, we are now docked in station. Right click. Uh, start conversation with the agent. And let's complete the mission. And she will give you a copy of the astrometric skill book. And it should appear in the bottom of your items hanger. Right click on it, train that now to level one. You're going to need that for the third step of the exploration chain. Let's take a look at the skill queue for a moment. All right, engineering. All right, what was I doing here? Ah, yes, besides level one, I also dragged in astrometrics level two and level three. And since engineering level four was pretty close to completion, I moved that to the top of the queue. So engineering four, astrometrics one, two, and three. Click apply, close the character sheet. Let's request the next mission, since that shouldn't take long. And this next mission is just really a guided tour of the different kinds of cosmic signatures that you might find. Uh, we'll cover how to find cosmic signatures in the next episode. Uh, right now, we're just going on a tour given by the game about what the different kinds of cosmic signatures are. Once we are in space, right-click in empty space, agent missions, an introduction to cosmic signatures, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. We've arrived at the mission space. Uh, there's no combat involved here. So just close the conversation, uh, the ancient conversation window, left click the acceleration gate, and activate the gate. Warp drive active. Now, in this first pocket that you're warping to, you're going to find a spawn container somewhere on your left as you warp in. Exploration supplies. Uh, left click that container and approach. Make sure your ship's cargo hold is open. The mission is basically going to give you a free core probe launcher and 10 free core scanner probes. And you're going to need that to complete the rest of the exploration tutorials. So just drag those over into your cargo hold. Then activate the acceleration gate. Warp drive active. And you can feel free to read all of these all this text in detail. Uh, I'm just rushing through it to try and keep the episode short. Alright, this first site is an example of a gravimetrics signature. Grav sites are essentially asteroid belts, and you can um, basically mine asteroids in it, better asteroids than you would normally find in the celestial asteroid belts of that same security level of solar system. You can find low security ores in high security grav sites and null security ores oh, in low security grav sites. Additionally, since they're cosmic signatures, it takes more effort to find a player there. In this next pocket, we have a magnet uh, what a magnetometric site might look like. In magnetometric sites, they're basically ancient ruins, and you need salvager and analyzer modules. Analyzer modules require the archaeology skill in the science category. Salvagers I've talked about before, but you need the same kind of salvager modules to open some of the spawn containers in magnetometric sites. So, salvagers, analyzers. In this next pocket, we're going to see what a radar site might look like, and that's basically some sort of hidden communication center. And you can break into it 
using Codebreaker modules, which require the hacking skill also in the science category. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, magnetometric sites and radar sites will often have enemies guarding them, and in some cases these NPCs might even spawn and attack you while uh, because you've activated a Codebreaker or Analyzer module. So just be aware that there might be some combat involved. Warp drive active. And the final example are LADAR sites. And basically it's gas clouds. Mining sites. You use gas cloud harvesters to harvest gas clouds. In known space, that is solar systems with stargates, gas clouds are only good for materials to make boosters, which are in-game performance enhancing drugs for your character. In W space, gas clouds provide the some of the materials that are needed for producing Tech 3 strategic cruisers. So those are the four most common kinds of cosmic signatures. There are cosmic signatures of type unknown, which in known space might be combat sites, kind of like a hidden mission, except you don't report to an agent, or wormholes. In wormhole space, cosmic signatures of un unknown type are always other wormholes. Let's return to the station and dock up and turn in the mission. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Right click the agent. In the case of Clalalon, that's Olari Lacentin. Now here I accidentally started a conversation with the advanced military agent by mistake and started that chain a bit early, and I got myself confused. Then I realized I was talking to the wrong agent, and then started the conversation with another wrong agent. We already did the business chain. There's Olari Lacentin. Let's turn in this mission. And in the next episode, we will get started on the next step. Thank you for watching.